let's talk about the big story. Obviously, you see the backdrop. We have Godzilla Kong, New Empire. That trailer dropped, and I'm hey, hyped. I know there's a lot of hate going out there about this oh, trailer, boy. but I am super hyped. You know, before the trailer even dropped, people, after coming out of Minus One on Wednesday, even before Minus One on Wednesday, just once Minus One even dropped, people were like, Oh, they were already like bad mouthing it, and they haven't even seen the trailer yet. But uh, I mean, there's so much already like, known. There, there was this whole movie's practically leaked online already. Uh, the plots all over been all over the web for months, weeks. Uh, it's just gonna be a crazy movie, yeah. and everyone that came, we we both saw minus one, absolutely epic. We're gonna get to that later, but you, this is completely completely like insane even to say oh how can you give us something like this after giving us minus one it's like apples to oranges you oh, gotta understand is... the monster verse movies are they're 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 here to be the 70s 60s crazy sci-fi movies basically you could call it you might you could call it the fast and furious of godzilla movies that's yeah i that's saw that going be. around a lot that's what it's gonna be and it's going to be fun, though. I mean, uh, part of what I've been saying is years ago when we grew up, we wanted movies like this. Yes. Your younger self would want to see this movie. Definitely. There's no way that if you were a kid, young teenager, that you would go into this movie and be like, oh, look at this. What is this? Yeah, no, definitely. You'd be super hyped and going nuts for it. And just have fun with it. You just got to know that... It, I don't think we're going to get something too crazy serious. Although, I have been watching Monarch Legacy of Monsters. I, I'm, all, I'm I'm a little behind. Uh, I'm behind one episode. But uh, I got to say, it's a pretty – it's fairly serious, honestly. The human story in that, to me, is pretty damn good. Uh, it's following John Goodman's character from uh, Skull Island, and it's basically following his – grandchildren uh and unraveling all the conspiracies of monarch you see little godzilla backstory the whole bikini atoll thing throw down but uh i mean if you want to say that could you could call that pretty serious monster verse yeah but after godzilla vs kong and the way the trailer here looks i think we're going to we're going for fun movies here with the monster rest. Oh, yeah, no, this is a complete blockbuster. I know yeah. probably the most controversial... Well, there's like three controversial things about the trailer. The number one thing, though, is this running scene that I put up. Yes. God. Godzilla runs. Godzilla runs. He, he ran a million times in the show era. He does it in the show era. He does a drop kick from like 400 feet away. He flies. Right the Megalon poster right there behind you. Yeah, like... He does ridiculous things in the show. And I know those are things that people don't like. Like He does the dancing at one part. Like, Godzilla can be fun. Yes. And, like, okay, he kind of also ran in Godzilla vs. Kong, but it was more like a crawling, lizard-like yeah. run. It wasn't, like, on a bipedal thing. But yeah. I, I think that the reason that they're doing this is because the other villain that they haven't shown in the trailers yet... Yeah, I don't want I mean, if it's not shown in the trailer. I don't want to talk about it too no, much yeah, I agree. because I, I don't mean, want to spoil the whole movie yeah, for the few I people mean, who don't know. Yes, I mean, and then I saw the other people there like trashing the new Godzilla design, the Godzilla evolved design. It's too thin. Yeah, it's, it's like he's too thin, too lizard like. Uh, yes. The pink, what's with the pink? And I'm like, because we've gotten four movies of him being blue. That's why. Because yeah. every single toy from the first generation to the last one looks almost the exact same. <laughs> <laughs> Toys, yeah. I mean, you know, Godzilla 2000, G2K, that was the last Godzilla movie we covered. Yeah. His spines were purple. Yeah. Uh, what's the big deal? Yeah, and I think that the the, the, the pink or purple uh, atomic breath, because you know that's what it's going to be, is yeah. going to look awesome. It's the same reason why uh, Kong has an Infinity Gauntlet on his hand. <laughs> Okay, I don't. 
Uh, so it looks like it's got like these blue bulbous things, so, and then like you, they show that desert scene. You see the blue glow. So I'm assuming it might be like some sort of like means of transporting through Hollow Earth it, or something like could, that. So I had two theories. Or two theories. Godzilla charged. So, yeah, two theories. One, it's like an enhanced version of his axe. And then secondly, like you know, he's probably gonna have a previous confrontation with the Scar King. Maybe that's like a cast. Yeah, maybe it's like almost like a brace. Yeah, like maybe Scar King breaks his arm or something in the first encounter. Because you see in this running scene, he does not have the axe anymore. And when he first encounters the baby gorilla, that he's got the axe in his hand. So, yeah, who knows, maybe he loses that axe in a fight and this becomes his new weapon. Or they pull shards of the spine from the axe to make this thing. Who knows what yeah, it is? I, <laughs> and the whole thing with the baby girl is pretty crazy too. I mean, and we see there's tons of other Kongs or large primates down there. Yeah. So, you know, it's definitely something I'm excited for. I, like, I'm just excited to go see the movie. It's gonna be yeah. a good time. I don't care. Yeah, I think it's gonna be crazy awesome. I don't I care think. if the like the director's been talking about it and he's like, I think there's like five or I think there's like three there's to five so, yeah, scenes where it's just scenes. eight minutes of just monsters fighting. Yeah. Like, just them just doing their own thing. Yeah. And I know people are worried about, like, oh, well, it's just going to be stupid monster fights and all that yeah. stuff. It's like, okay, well, you can tell stories through body language. You don't need people talking and explaining what's happening. Exactly. Like, it's one of, like, the things of, like, storytelling is show, don't tell. Like, you don't yeah. have to have a human character be like, Oh, Kong adopted that baby gorilla. Oh, I guess I guess he's King Kong now. Yeah. Like you don't need that in the movie. Yeah. You can just inference that. I'm sure we're gonna get a King Kong line once they beat Scar yeah. King. Like, yeah. <laughs> true. Yeah, and maybe he'll be ruling all the other apes. I don't know. I, I mean, I don't... I'm just guessing where it's going. I don't know. Yeah. I haven't. I've stayed away from leaks. People are like, "Oh, is this going to be like the Young Avengers?" They're like, "Oh, maybe, maybe that scene where uh, where uh, the baby Kong's on the mountain. Maybe there's really going to be a baby Godzilla next to <laughs> <too, laughs> and they're going to take over like the Young Avengers, and the dads are going to retire. There's going to be a. There's going to be a Manila. Then I heard another theory that with the running scene that it looks like oh maybe they're leading other kaiju out behind them or something that like that. That would be cool. To fight. I, I mean we know that other franchises, mainly Marvel, will show a trailer but they'll cut out other characters yeah. exactly. in shots just so they don't show you everything. That's definitely a possibility. No, I absolutely think it is. I mean the Scar King looks really cool. He's got this snake bandolier thing on him from what i understand it's a weapon actually uh one of the discussions in the trailers you see a thing where it looks like it spikes into the ground and i don't know if it's drilling people like is this another kaiju that has like drill arms i don't know if it's part of the scar king's weapon that he has on him i don't know if it extends into like a spear almost when it's off of him and he can just twirl it or something like that I feel like it's part of his weapon. I don't think it's another kaiju. Yeah. Um, you never know, though. Yeah, you never, you never I mean, know. I think that there will be other, like, tertiary kaiju in this, just because they're doing the Monarch show. So you yeah. might get, like, a, you might see a Mudo, you might see a Behemoth, like, yeah. you might see some of the stuff from Monarch, but they're not going to play a huge role. Yeah. And then one thing yeah. I, I saw one person note was that beach shot with the Scar King. Yes. That the ocean was frozen. Oh, well, that's yeah, I know. because of something. Yes. I can't tell. We won't throw spoilers But I was just like, ooh. But I was like, I, was like, I didn't even notice that on my... I yeah. watched the trailer like yeah. four or five times. Yeah. And I, didn't, I hadn't even noticed it until somebody like actually pointed it out to me. Yeah. It looks like an absolutely fun movie. Uh, I hope the haters come around. You're going to watch it anyway. If yeah, you're they're going to watch it anyway. Them. People are going to watch it to hate it. You're going to watch it anyway to complain. And... Uh, you know, to that I just have fun. Yeah. I mean, I can, I can. yeah. I know. I know. We have a minus one that shows Godzilla doesn't have to be fun. Yeah. It's super serious. Complete polar opposite of this movie. But you know what? What's wrong with having a fun movie? That's that's what the Meg was. Yeah. That's what a lot of things are. Yeah. No, I'm I'm excited for it. Um. I guess uh, the next thing we're gonna cover would be uh. 
we got a uh